kind of panels they are. Just, I want everybody to know. I have them connected. They're 30 watt panels, so the positive goes in here. Negative on that side goes into that positive, out of that negative, so I get 60 volts then. And then the positive and the negative leg come over to this outback combiner box. And there's the positive leg, there's a the negative leg. Then take that and run that with the big wire over to see there it goes show you and that's going to go down to the machine shed okay here's our flex power one it's all in pieces right now and i want to sh just run through some of these components and where they're at so here's the battery system see the positive right there there you go that's positive show you where the positive runs comes up and it runs to this main inverter right here and I don't know if you can see that but the positive wire runs kinda way back in the back of that main inverter I don't know if you can see that the main switch and the negative which is right here it's the great big wire that's the negative this is a great big old looping wire it comes right on up to here that's the negative so that's the battery connection now the PV array in comes in here and the negative there's the negative which uh, is right there now it comes and I have it yoked into a uh, a, a more bendable cable it's a welding cable and it comes and it as you can tell here's that welding cable right there and it goes in right there it says uh, in that terminal right there the third terminal over that's the where the PV array negative comes in and the PV array positive which is this wire coming off comes in as a loop it comes in to right here and it says PV array disconnect and it comes as you can tell that wire comes right there into that breaker so that's the PV array that's really all you uh, have going another thing you have going is a battery temp temperature sensor and I have it on that battery it comes up and it gets plugged in to right down in there. That's the battery temper, temperature sensor. Now the AC comes in here, the AC input, and it comes in, the, pot, the hot leg comes into the top breaker there, AC input, you can see the top breaker. The other one comes in the white part of this. There's the ground. The ground is yoked together with that green wire up to the white. That's all done by factory. Now this ground, I have to show you how our system is grounded. Here's a ground rod right there. We drove that in. It's the official long, long. And the, the blue comes up to the AC side and the green comes in to this green ground right in there so that's the that um, another thing they want us to do is on the AC they want us to have a 60 amp breaker coming in with uh, uh, onto the grid so I want to show you our this is the grid box and here's this wire that comes in that goes over but it comes into the 60 amp, as you can tell, 60 amp. Hello, this is the Outback Power System FP1-3. I am totally thrilled with this system. 
It's phenomenal. Right now, we have sun out. It's uh, cranking in uh, 70. We had to turn this thing back to 70 amps because it kept blowing, a, I mean, flipping a breaker and shutting the whole system down. So we turned it back to 70 amps so it wouldn't max out and do that. I don't know why, but this is a phenomenal system. Totally awesome. These are interstate batteries. Um, this deep cycle interstate uh, extreme 6 volt batteries. 120 volt uh, plug-in that they have built into it. There's the cord. Awesome. I have a whole bunch of heater. I have a heater here, door grinder. This thing is making electricity out of the... I bought this meter. This thing's just making electricity. Watch this. I just turn on this switch. Uh, show you that. That's something. So that's the heater. I turned the heater on. I want to show you, prove to you that... Now here's the drill. Ah, oh, I got it to stand still. It's still producing too much electricity. So what I'm going to do... We got this humongous grinder. I'm gonna one hand it thing. Yeah, I hope it don't cut my leg off. But watch this, I can get this thing. There it goes. The meter. Isn't that something? So the meter does go backwards. If you, uh, the meter does go backwards. Watch this, I will start this thing up again. Ready? See that? Watch this. So the meter does go backwards. I'm going to shut the heater off. Hold on. The heater's all running. See this? Now I'm going to shut shut the heater off right here. You'll watch this thing. It's going to do a big kick. There you go. Shut it off. Now it's producing electricity. I want to show you what this is making. Uh, it's turning my house meter backwards. I mean, this is a huge farm, and for just a FP1-3 from Outback system that you can buy, a redneck can buy, phenomenal. There's 70, 60, 50, this is going backwards on my house meter. My house meter is going backwards. It's feeding it into the grid. Isn't that just phenomenal?